Do you think Labour should now become a Remain and Reform Party? Well, the short answer to that is that it should be a referendum Remain and Reform uh, Party. Uh, uh, Labour's problem is not uh, Alistair Campbell. I mean, Labour's problem is that its position on, uh, on the European question, the defining question for Britain at the moment, is completely unclear. And while its position is uh, unclear, it's not going to be able to uh, offer the country the kind of leadership it needs. Remember, we've got the most unpopular government that I can remember in 20 or 30 years following politics and Labour has shown itself or the Labour leadership has shown itself completely unable to take advantage of that to offer the country a clear uh, path forward and I think that uh, there is now thankfully a thoroughgoing and open debate happening in the Labour Party about how to properly address uh, this question because it hasn't done so uh, over the last three years. And I just wonder, I mean, did you vote Labour in the European... Could you vote by proxy Labour in the European elections? I, I did, actually. I did vote Labour. I vote by postal vote, not by uh, proxy. Uh, but I did vote Labour because the two candidates standing uh, in the constituency, in the central London constituency, uh, Claude Moraes and Seb Dance, are excellent members of the European Parliament, and they've got very principled and, I think, appropriately uh, proactive and, and sensible views on how to resolve the Brexit crisis. This isn't about uh, neglecting Leave voters or uh, refusing to listen to Leave voters. After all, South Shields, my former constituency, voted Leave. It's about offering those voters the choice and the truth which is that they voted on the principle of Brexit three years ago, and it's only right that they get the chance to vote on the detailed practicalities of what Brexit now involves. And I think that uh, commitment to offer choice to people, a democratic choice, is the right thing to do for the political stability to, for the country, and it's also the right thing to do for the economic and social future of the country. Yeah, I mean, Jeremy Corbyn's moving towards maybe a deal, a vote rather on a, on a deal approved by Parliament, but you want a, another remain or leave referendum. Well, I think it's imperative that there is a clear choice between the Brexit that people are being offered and the option of remaining. It's not a rerun of the 2016 referendum because that was a vote on the principle with no detail at all, no plan at all, about what Brexit means. Now, I haven't had a chance to catch up uh, with what Jeremy Corbyn has said today, but on my way in here, someone said to me that he'd made it more confusing because he'd talked about not having a Remain option on the ballot. Uh, the truth is that when you buy a house, you have a survey done. You put down an offer, but you have a survey done. If the survey shows that the house has got subsidence, you're able to say, no, I don't want to go ahead. And we should give the British people the chance to decide whether or not they want to go ahead with the Brexit move as it is now uh, detailed. And obviously we need a government because there is no government uh, in the UK uh, at the moment pending the Conservative uh, leadership election. But a healthy democracy needs a strong opposition as well and that's what I'd like to see. OK, just two final questions. One, I mean, how do you feel being a member of a party facing an investigation into uh, the way some Jews appear to have been victimised uh, within the Labour Party? Absolutely sick, obviously. I, I never believed I would live to see the day when the words anti-Semitism and Labour were in the same sentence or headline, uh, never mind that the party had been brought into such disrepute by some of its members that there should be an investigation uh, by an anti-discrimination body. I think it's very welcome that there is going to be a proper engagement with this, but the straightforward answer to your question is I feel absolutely sick. And the fact that people might, like me, who've been a member of the Labour Party now for uh, 35, 37 years, should even be thinking whether or not we should vote Labour. As I say, I did vote Labour, but the fact that we should even be considering it because of the failure on Brexit, because of the failure on uh, anti-Semitism, shows you uh, what, a, what a terrible past we've come to. Right, and are you going to come back and return to the fray at what is a very critical time for the Labour Party?
Well, I'm obviously not a member of uh, Parliament. There are big um, responsibilities on member of Parliament, members of Parliament at the moment. But I'm a, a British citizen, I'm an, uh, and I'm a member of the Labour Party, and I'll try and use my voice in whatever way I can. I, I feel very privileged to have a job that allows me to lead an NGO, a non-governmental organization that is doing humanitarian work in 40 countries. There are 13,000 people working uh, for the International Rescue Committee today looking uh, to me for me to be focused on their concerns. And I have to make sure that in my professional life I focus on uh, making the most difference for some of the most vulnerable people in the world. But obviously in my private time I want to express my views about the uh, fate and the future of the country as well as the fate and the future of the party.